Nope, it's not coming back. <laughs> I've lost it from everything. It's in the nether. <laughs> oh. I've been watch. I, I've watched um, a couple of films as well over um, over the last few weeks, and uh, I've got Netflix, and I watch Netflix. The film on Netflix is called Fallen. Uh, it's about uh, an angel. Uh, I, I quite enjoyed that, and I watched Fallen One, Two, and Three. Uh, that, that was quite good. Um, but I've also watched some really, really, really horrible films, like uh, just not very good. Um, Oh, it looks like we're asphalt in Germany going into Salzburg. Um, yeah, so it, it's hit or miss, really. And, and I'm the sort of person, you know, within a few seconds of watching a film, I know whether I want to watch it or not. It's got to be good quality. It's got to be, you know, like, it's got to grab you right from the first, you know, five minutes. If it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm, I kind of, yeah, I, 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 I won't watch it. And, and that will put me off then for, for forever to watch that one film. Um Regardless, really, of what people says. Um, oh no! I'm starting to get tired. How much fuel we got? We got plenty of fuel. Just need to sort out our tiredness. Um. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anywhere to stop just yet. Oh, we're not going to Salzburg, are we? Going straight on. Where are we going straight on? Uh, not ours farting just yet. We are. Hopefully, are we in Hungary yet? I don't even know how far away we are. There's somewhere we can rest up up here. So, it's, what a nice journey this has been. This has been very, and you know, like when I say uneventful, I mean you know, the, the AI hasn't tried to kill me. It's been, uh, it's been quite pleasant. It's, you know, it's just been uh, a nice, a nice, a nice drive. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, unfortunately. Oh, let's reverse. There we go. Oh, no, we're trying to rest. We're not looking for fuel. Well, as I'm here, I'm also fill up, haven't I? <sighs> there we go. So, E. We fill up. 213 quid. And then we're sleeping here. There we go. E rest. Okay, it's probably gonna be dark. Yeah, it's gonna be dark when we leave. We're getting dark. Is that Marianne still earning money? Good. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Oh, red car. <laughs> I think red cars scare me more than crushing. You know, it's like, oh my god, red car! It's gonna do something to kill me. Or another thing that we've been talking about. I don't know how you guys feel about this. You know, uh, uh, the teddy bears. The, the main focus on our, our all our channels is is simulator games. But we've been uh, toying with the idea. I've never played Left 4 Dead. All right, nor is Das. Uh, I think Fads had like a few hours worth of playing, and Gray might have just like just bought the game. So we're very uh, Left 4 Dead newbies. Uh, Dura, on the other hand, is is like you know. He, He's hardcore and left it left for dead. So uh, we was actually thinking, and because it's a four-player game, we were thinking we might uh, we might do a little series um, on Left the Dead. You know, for me, Fad, Das, and Gray. Uh, what do you what do you guys think about that? I think it'd be a, I think it'd be really funny. I I am terrible at a first-person shooter. Okay, so if you guys are looking for somebody to 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 showcase the game or uh, to to show you how to play it. I am really I am the wrong person. I I am the kind of guy that uh, plays a first person shooter and runs out of bullets in the first two minutes. Um I, I shoot everything. Anything that moves, you know. I immerse myself so much into a game I think that I, I really do think that my life is on the line and I'm 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 gonna shoot every single bullet out of this gun I can. <laughs> oh, I, that's why I didn't really get into Resident Evil. Like my my, my good friend Wally who uh, come to Eurogaming with us? He was the cameraman. He um he, he loves Resident Evil. You know he's a massive Resident Evil fan, and and you know it used to drive him mad that I used to run out of bullets very very quickly, and I was I, <laughs> I just just carry on just shooting. We I think we played the game. Is it Silent Hill? Uh, 
the film was just nuts, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, we played the game, and uh, yeah, because this film scared me. Yeah, you know, it was a fifteen, and it scared me. That film, it was a bit freaky. And because the game, you know, because I watched the film, I was expecting the game to be just as scary. I'll just get get the gun, and I'll, I'll just fire the gun off, and within minutes I'll be dead. And yeah, it's just not 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 my thing. But um, I think um, f uh, I think Fad said that uh, the handgun is is unlimited in Left 4 Dead, which um, I'd probably be running around with a handgun most of the time then, because I'll have no bullets for any of the guns. <laughs> I think we're in Hungary because I've never heard of Linz before. You know, Linz. I think that's fairly new. Um, yeah. Veen? Is that Veen? I think W is pronounced V, isn't it? Around here. Um, Vine? Veen? Hmm. On the E60. So we're going to carry on the E60 up to Veen. I guess we don't talk about this game very often, do we? You know, when we play it, we talk about everything else apart from the game. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> oh, I've got, I got to say, though, the poor farmers down, down in the south of England... Um, I, I, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but uh, in the southwest England... Well, other parts of, uh, of, of, of UK as well, you know, it's not just England. It's uh, Ireland and Wales and, you know, it's... The whole of the UK has had a a lot of rain uh, fall recently, and um, yeah, the southwest has been hit particularly hard, especially like around Somerset and Dorset, and you know you must have heard about the Somerset levels and the poor farmers down there. It's just their livelihood is just underwater at the moment, and it must be such a difficult time for them. You know, you got the gov I don't talk about politics very often, but um, well, at all really. But the governments are sitting there trying to, you know, blame each other for for the weather. You know, and the, instead of uh, getting out there and just sorting it out, and then talk about whose fault it was. Um, but the poor people in uh, in the uh, sort of flooded uh, areas of uh, of the UK is, um, yeah, my heart's go out to them, and uh, I wish them all the luck. Uh, it's it's a difficult time, you know. The w weather is just just so powerful. It really is, you know. And I know that the uh, the east of uh, America is, uh, is covered in snow at the moment, which uh, you know, which can be uh, just as uh, just as dangerous as the uh, as the floods that we're having over here. So, yeah, the weather seems to be a big talking point recently, and um, it's it just seems it's getting worse and worse and worse. You know, I can't remember ever having this amount of rain. It, it it rains every single day. I know, like England's got, or you, I keep saying England, but the UK got this, this um, um, like uh, reputation. That's that's the word I was looking for. Like a reputation of being a, a you know, you go you go over there and it's going to be cold and rainy, or f you know, it's going to be cloudy and rainy, but it has been like that for like nearly two months. It really, really, really has, and. I am so surprised that I still have, uh, you know, electricity and, and water, because um, where we are, I'm, I'm quite close to the River Severn, and the River Severn is really high at the moment, and um, I think it's really close to Burris's Banks. I think it's Burris's Banks up in the the city above me, which is uh, Worcester uh, and Chooksbury. So it's uh, yeah, it, it's 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 not bad here where I am at the moment, but um, potentially I think it it, it could go bad. If it carries on raining, but uh, according to the according to the uh, the weather reports, we're looking for the weather to 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 hold off. Uh, but then, you know, I heard the other day about um, if it stopped raining, like today, and it stopped raining for a, a week, I think does it still you know, the, the the water still rises by a hundred mil millimeters or something? Because you got all the water coming off the hills, you got all the all the you know all the water it it kind of goes to a uh, the lowest point doesn't it so i think even even though it will stop you know if it stops raining today for a week it will still rise another 100 mil which is not crazy if you think about it and also um where the uh underneath the ground you know there's a lot of uh, sort of salt and, and and chalk and and you know other material and that absorbs all the water and stuff uh, 
and then when 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 that starts drying out, you know, does it expand? Or, you know, where does that go? So there's a there's a lot to it than what you just see on top of the water. Um, yeah, weird. So, yeah, my hearts and thoughts go out to uh, to everybody who's been affected by the floods and uh, and the snow over in the east and and anywhere else that uh, the weather has been uh, particularly bad. It's such a powerful thing, isn't it? Uh, what time is it? It's uh, oh, five to eleven. I seems like we've been driving forever. Don't think we're too far from uh, Hungary. Oh, well, to our drop off in was it Dreken? Dreken? I've never heard of that city. To be fair, um, well, there's a lot of cities on this map that I haven't heard of. Dreken. Sounds like a second name. John Dreken. <laughs> Whoa, where's a road gone? There it is. Okay. Just slow down a bit. I think we get some good money from this. Like thirty-five thousand, I think, for driving over to Dreken. Oh, Ven discovered. Okay, we're in Ven. We're nowhere near Dreken. Wow, I thought we was coming up to uh, the city, but obviously we're not. But well, we've never been to Ven either until today. Oh, that's good. Hey, two birds with one stone. Why is there so much traffic at eleven o'clock at night? I never know. I think um, if I was a lorry driver, I'd, I think I'd like to to drive at night. You know, where there's less traffic, I think you can get you can get more t you you can eat more tar tarmac. I think at night than you can during the day. I, I I don't know what the advantage is of of driving during the day. You know, you obviously you know if you're driving from say Scotland to to Wales or whatever, you know, you, you have to. Um, it'd be nice to leave it, you know, in the day. Have the night time to do most of the travelling, and then arrive in the day in Wales. You know, that that would work. But uh, yeah, driving all that way in the day with all the traffic and <clears throat> you know, because drivers can be a right pain to uh, to to lorry drivers. You know, it takes a while for a for a truck to get up to speed, and if somebody uh, you know cuts you up or makes you slow down, then. You know, it could take a while to get back up to that speed again. So this is Veen. Vine. We've got McDonald's. <laughs> got McDonald's everywhere, mind, haven't you? McDonald's are everywhere. Oh, going around these roundabouts is weird. It's going the wrong way. You're supposed to go around the roundabout the other way. Okay, looks like everyone's going to uh, Dreken with me, which is nice. Let me see if I can overtake him. Oh, that was a good move. All those lights on in the cars Look, at night. Well, that's weird. Go, 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 go. Come on, it's going to look a burn. This is like too fast, too furious. Oh, we've done the car. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're a little while away from uh, where we should be. I don't know how long we've been recording for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, then, come on, then. That's it. Yep, that corner was... Uh, that was quite a nasty corner to take, that was. That's why I went a bit quiet. I know it makes a change. It does feel like I've been yapping, like, constantly, without taking a breath this episode. <laughs> We're on the A4. Actung. I think that means attention. I want to read what the sign says. Oh, something's going on and I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, the night. This is that moon in my in in the mirror. Moon in the mirror. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. I think we're coming to a city. It's all uh, been. Nice and bright. Uh, oh, Debrecen. There we go. Debrecen and Bratislava. We're going to go head, head towards Debrecen. Uh, it's Debrecen, not Deacon. 
Debrecen. See, I, I, when I go to different places I've never heard of before, like Debrecen, I, you know, in the um, in the comment section or the description button below, um, I always put like a just some information about the city where we're going. Uh, I think it's nice. It's nice to know uh, just a you know a little bit about it in real life and. Um, I do actually look forward to reading what it says about uh, about the city that I go. And if you look back at any all the other videos, you'll find all the information for the cities that I've been to. Um, some a little bit of information from the wiki, and I think that's a nice little touch. Okay, let's overtake this SO lorry. He's so slow. SO slow. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably do turn up the the game sound a bit more. And I wonder if they bring in the, you know in the American expansion in California. I wonder if uh, SCS are watching. Can you bring in like walkie talkies? You know the the, the little breaker breaker one two three. You know bring that in. Uh, that that'd be good. Yeah, uh, especially when we do the multiplayer stuff. I think that would be uh, that would be awesome. And um, you can have it uh, like a, a plug-in to to um, to Mumble or Teamspeak or something. Where if um, you know if, if that car in front was a was a lorry, you could hear what he's saying. And then, but the further he gets away, you know, like if he's outside of VR range or, or you know, like breaker breaker range, then um, you c you can't hear him. So you're only literally talking to people in 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 your range of uh, your range of communication. I think that would be really cool, and it'd be good to you know to to meet people and and you know have a chat and oh where are you off to oh you know I'm, I'm off to uh, I don't know uh, Swansea oh oh so and then somebody else will pitch in and go oh so am I you know that'd be uh, that'd be quite cool on a big multi multi map multiplayer map that'd be that'd be nice because there is rumours obviously I'm, I'm making this uh, multiplayer. But that, that's probably the only way I could see of having um, contact with other other drivers because if it's anything like me, I can't look away from the screen for two seconds without thinking I'm going to crash. So y I think the typing thing is going to be, you're not going to be able to type or have a chat box or something like that, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think that might be a little bit of a problem, but the communication thing would be uh, would be really good. You know, so you don't want to be talking to everybody on the whole map, but if you're in the close vicinity, you know, I don't know, a 50 mile range, say, then you can talk to people, uh, you know, within that range. Because I don't know what what the range is in real life on walkie talkies. Um, yeah, Bex Vien, Bex Vien, and Budapest. Looks like we're heading over to Budapest. We're not as far into Bexvian. So down a bit. This corner don't look too good. Speed up a bit. Oh, look at that! He took that brilliantly. Oh, I'm really happy with this engine. You know, I, I'm pulling this trailer. It's uh, it's really easy. I haven't checked to see if there's any uh, decent mods out there. I, I literally just jumped on. I got a bit of time, so I thought I'd jump on and play. Um, I will have to have a look at uh, at the different mods. If there's any new mods that's come out at the moment that you guys are, uh, are raving about, then let me know in the comments below. Just type in the name of the mod and I'll find it. Uh, you don't need to leave a link because I know uh, Mr. Google doesn't like um, links being made into into YouTube. Or uh, send me a private message. We still we still got them, you know. Uh, a lot of people think uh, they're not there anymore, but uh, yeah, YouTube. I think they tried to hide it. But uh, if you go into your, um, I think it's your video messages or something. Or uh, there's 
on on the left hand side you've got like um all the different options uh so i think there's a an option like communication or or, or something like that and then it's, it's in there it's not communication but it's um i can't remember what it's called now but uh, there was a car on my left where's he gone oh there he is he's in my blind spot that was lucky i was going to pull out then really cars come on go what does that say The red car and the blue car had a race. <laughs> and the red car won. <laughs> Can you remember that advert? I think I mentioned that before about the Milky Way advert. Oh, the blue car is faster than me anyway. No, I've, I've enjoyed this run. I think this run's been quite... Uh, Quite therapeutic for me. It's a good run to get get into the swing of things. A thousand meters to the petrol station. Uh, we've got plenty of petrol. We pretty much just rested, so we're we're good to go. I don't know what the ETA of uh, us arriving is, but um, I can't see it being too much longer. I might actually split this video in, into two parts, so I want to keep the videos to about half hour um, mark. Because um, I think any longer, I, I think people do get um, no, not bored. That's the wrong word. Uh, I think half-hour videos is is, is good uh, for this type of simulation because um, you watch it and and you know you get called away. I don't know, you got homework to do, or you you go out with your mates, or you're watching the next you know Liverpool win again. Um, <laughs> Liverpool have been doing really well and I've been uh, really excited to watch uh, Liverpool play um, but yeah so you get called away and, and you only end up watching you know sort of 20 minutes at half hour anyway so you know, if, if video was like an hour and a half long you're missing quite a bit of content so to save that from happening um, I think I'll uh, I'll chop them up into uh, 30 minutes um, max and, and that should help out you know I'm, I'm not going to release like a half hour video and then another half hour video after I'll release it all in one hit you know so you, you shouldn't you know see any uh, you're not waiting to finish the end of the video or anything okay but yeah Liverpool's been doing really really well Is there a speed limit along here that I don't know about? Because I'm uh, kind of overtaking everybody. It's a bit weird. I'm on the M1. Budapest. Budapest. Just off the right. It's like I'm, I've am i got this in fast forward, isn't it? That M1's like really slowed down. No, see those cars? they got... Ah, no. They haven't got the lights on. Do you know what it is? It's the reflection from my beacon, beacon view. Um... Which has caused them to light up because of the uh, reflection that's in the uh, in the lights. That's quite clever. Okay, we're going to go straight on here, I guess. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's been uh, a little bit uh, weird. I've done about six videos so far, <laughs> not like non-stop. <laughs> no. 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 Don't ever do this at home. <laughs> Sorry, car in the white. Okay. Wow. Well, right, pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> There's me saying, no, it was uneventful. Nothing's happened. No, I've just nearly, you know, caused a, a 15 car pileup. Um, right, we're turning right here. Wow, this place is far away. Budapest. We're not going to Budapest. We're going to Bredeken? No. Deb... Debeken? Debeken? Debeken. Debeken. I think. Oh, we can't turn... <laughs> I was lucky. I was going to go straight on. 
I need to start looking at my uh, my GPS a bit more. Come on, red van, lorry. Hurry up. Come on, it's 90 along here. You're doing 30. Oh. The AI is out to get us. I'm forcing us to drive really, really slowly. Go on. So yeah, I'm like level 20 in this game. I know it's taken me like over a year. I think I've been playing this game for over a year. Um, I know a lot of people are a lot more higher level than I am. But uh, yeah, if you haven't picked this up yet, definitely pick it up. It's it's, it's such a nice. Um, I can't expect it. not time wasting, but you know when you start playing it, the the hours just go. You know, you just you got some music on, and, and you're in the zone. You know, and you're making some good money. You're seeing different cities, and and it's about the journey, isn't it? That's, that's that's what it is. And and the good thing about this game as well, once you start the journey, you know, you kind of feel like you have to finish a journey. So and the, and then the exciting thing is about starting a journey. So it it kind of grabs you like that, and and. Yeah, that's how it grabs me. It's like the, 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 the exciting bit is like you know, starting the journey and, and find out where you're gonna go and and stuff, and then the end of the journey, and then like during the journey is is it's quite nice because you're excited to get there. So, and you never know what's gonna happen. You know, you you've got this dynamic AI. It just stops for no reason at all. Um. Oh, please go on. Don't make me stay here. Oh, a car's let me through. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're you're a gentleman. You're a scholar and a gent. Thank you. So, like I say, you don't know, never know what the AI is gonna do. <laughs> oh. On cue, perfect. I keep getting this stuttering every every so often. It can't be my computer. Alright, let's overtake you. Because you're going to be a pain. Oh, we've got a three way junction. So we've got Debrecen. We've got to. Well, no idea what left is. Do you see that? those words? Um, yeah, have, have, have a look what's left. Uh, see if I can pronounce it. Brett's. No. It's got anger on the end of it. I know we're going straight on. That's a weird junction, that one. Bexveen and Debrecen. So we're coming off at Debrecen. Oh, we're fairly close then. Well, I wish it wasn't night time because I want to see a bit more Hungary. But when we leave, it should be it should be daytime. So when we when we leave Hungary in the next episode, it should be uh, nice and bright, and we can have a look. I'll just check to see if my microphone was turned on. I was going to start crying then. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to turn the microphone on. Alright, home straight now, I think. Leading to the city. In the city! City of Compton. Oh, I was hoping to overtake that red one. Oh, am I still doing it? No. Do you I can? Yeah. There we go. Wow, we've used quite a lot of fuel. And uh, we've probably been going for a good what an hour probably probably a bit more than that actually I'm not sure how long we've been uh, been driving for uh, M3 we're on the M3 and it's uh, 5 past 4 in the morning
we should get there for about six ish I bet so yeah the G20 wheel uh, is something I'm definitely going to be uh, be purchasing next I think uh, when I come back from Boston it's going to be my next big purchase and what I do is I'll have to get the uh, the webcam set up for an episode just to show you guys uh, my fail at uh, using um, the uh, Logitech steering wheel and uh, gears <laughs> so I think it's, it, it's quite realistic so and realistic doesn't always mean better for me <laughs> it means harder and more derpiness but it's definitely something for us to do in the uh, in the future There's a lot of red trucks about, isn't there? Just notice that. Oh, it's starting to come a little bit lighter. We can start seeing uh, the surrounding areas of Hungary. Awesome. We haven't seen any any uh, anything of Hungary yet, so I'm quite interested in seeing what's about. There's a lot of wind farms. There's a looks like a train track or something next to us. Oh, oh no, they're power lines, aren't they? Not a train track. Got power lines going through the uh, through the farming fields. Wow, there's some huge, huge wind turbines. And also as well, can you imagine playing this with the, the Oculus Rift and the G20 steering wheel? Oh my gosh. That'd be so that'd be so immersed. You you'd be scared to crash. I think if you crash you think that you're gonna go through the windscreen or through <laughs> through the Oculus Rift. <laughs> you have to have like a you have to make yourself a seatbelt just so you feel safe enough to drive. <clears throat> that'd be good. This fence is funky. Uh, Debrecen left here. And got Casa Cuis. I probably haven't uh, pronounced that correctly. Casa Cuis. Casa Cuis. Casa Cosis. Casa Cosis. Is that not? Is that right? Casa Cosis. No idea. But that's where they're all going. We're going straight on to Debrecen. Good. That's one less uh, red lorry <laughs> AI we don't have to uh, contend with. Uh, electronics, wasn't it? Seven tons of electronics were taken to Debrecen. I wonder what they got in Debrecen. Don't know what that means. That sign can mean anything. It's probably like do not speed or uh, you know, no parking on the hard shoulder or something. I do love that. Oh, look at that! That does look amazing, doesn't it? do love the quality of the scenery in this game. I always have done and I just think it's just really 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 pretty. Uh, you can see what they're doing here, you know it's got crossed off you know do not do not turn you know they've left that option in so when they expand the game further um, that would be another way out of uh, Debrecen to to go even further east or, or south or north or wherever uh, you know we can go on from Hungary so they're not, you know, they're not saying uh, there's no options. They're not uh, closing anything down. You know, they're keeping all the options open, which is great. And I think the future of these SES uh, Euro Truck games is uh, very bright. You know, once they cover the whole map in uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, it's going to be Euro Truck Simulator 3 <laughs> with the. You know, it's going to be Oculus Rift. It's going to be the 
the Logitech steering wheel. It's just gonna be fully immersed. It's oh, it's gonna be nuts. I can't wait. What well, do you think the multiplayer option with the uh, walkie-talkies in a certain radius of where you are is a good idea? I'm sure there's plugins to do that. You know, for your for a team speak or something. What's the dots in the sky? Is that planes? Oh, that's a big tower. E acres. Debrecen. We are in Debrecen, peeps. Uh, so, so far, it's a fairly big city, isn't it? Debrecen. It's, uh, it looks quite big. Oh, we've got another speed and defense. Whoops. What have we got here? This is a. No idea. But we've got to turn right. So we've got to be in this lane with all the traffic. I think everybody's turning right. Oh, look, at the, look at the detail of the pavement. Honestly, it's just amazing. Oh, did you really have to stop? <laughs> yeah. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? You got the pavement there, all the shadows and everything. It works really, really well. I can't believe how clean my uh, my truck is. I still like the day I bought it. <laughs> Although I think I need to buy the new Volvo. Oh, it's green. Um, you know they they updated the Volvo skins, didn't they? And I think I got the old old Volvo. So. I, with our little bit of money that we got, maybe the next episode we'll uh, look at buying another truck and keep it, you know, keep it nice and fresh. Or let me know. Okay, so this is the options for the next video. We can either buy ourselves another truck, or maybe open up another garage um, in Hungary. Say, uh, you know, we uh, we can have something far uh, southeast. Of the map, and buy a couple of cheap, cheap trucks, hire a few people. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, we're getting tired. We're definitely gonna be sleeping after the next episode, anyway. Oh, this is new, isn't it? I can't remember going into. Uh, oh no, it's not new. Just looks a bit different. Okay, we're gonna try and reverse it like a boss. No, we're going to press enter. <laughs> Job completed! Excellent! Hang on, wasn't we uh, taking the electronics, wood shavings from Genève to Debrecan? We've uh, driven uh, 910 miles. It's taken us 27 hours. Uh, we consumed quite a lot of fuel. And um, most importantly, we've got 35, well, just under 35 grand. So we are level 20 master. Yeah! So there we go, peeps. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stock Oak Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Take care and ciao for now. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got